Peace, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First one of call, hello, Yahweh, Bad Shimmy, Allah Shah, Bad Shimmy, Prophet Dash. Double honors. <coughs> Go out to the apostles, bishops, elders, great millstone. All right, who continue to push his truth and who are available for anyone to ask because our teachers are not removed anymore in the corners. They're out there for everyone to see. Salutations also go out to the Akim who are out there around the four corners of the earth pushing this truth and honesty and sincerity, trying to wake up the remaining go for elect. This is now I'm out to DC camera. And this is more of a PSA than anything else. Uh, been warned uh, several times, and this is a story that highlights that. That's why I'm bringing it out about uh, when you see flyers things of this nature on your car do not touch them all right especially with your bare hands all right this is just a warning it says uh, woman says she ended up in the hospital because she removed a napkin from her car all right and she created a video to warn everybody Aaron Mims is her name a hair salon owner based in Houston Texas has recently lived through an awful experience on Tuesday. The woman was celebrating her birthday with her husband and enjoying a meal out at the Prospect Park Diner in Willowbrook. But unfortunately, what started off as a great day quickly turned into a disaster. I never made it to the spa or to my birthday dinner because I was immediately rushed to the hospital. As they were leaving to head to a local spa, she noticed a peculiar napkin wedged into the passenger door handle when she returned to the car. Mims didn't think much of it and simply proceeded to remove it, as many of us would. Again, do not do this. I'm telling you no. I just threw it out. I opened the door with the tips of my fingers. Shortly after that, the woman said she was hospitalized for touching an allegedly poisoned napkin with doctors implying the incident could have been a part of an attempted kidnapping. In her video that has gone viral, she warns others to be careful when out and about. This is her right here. Uh, she's counting, you know, she's at the hospital here, her husband, of course, and this is what was in her waist between the handle and the, and the car. All right. So she walks out to the car, she sees this, there you see just the very tips of her fingers, pulls it out, and then she wraps her hand around the door handle, which of course has been in contact with the napkin. And it says, um, so she reenacted with head on, so this isn't the actual napkin, all right? but. I just wanted to give you all an idea of how it was sticking out the door handle. So this is just a reenactment. This is not the actual one, all right? This is while she didn't touch the mysterious napkin directly, she still opened the door with her fingers. Mims mentioned she's a germaphobe and normally wouldn't have grabbed a napkin. Mm. Isn't that something? That's why you have to be careful because she's out and about, like I said, you know. You're not thinking about anything, but, you know you're all caught up in the moment and this is when you she broke her what she broke habit all right she broke her normal routine and this is what happened but she thought her husband could have planted it there just playing around once my husband got off the phone I asked him did you put a napkin in my door and he was like no so immediately I started looking for the hand sanitizer but at this point it's too late uh she says uh Despite going back to the restaurant to wash her hands, Mim says she felt the unknown substance affect her body. Alright, she washed her hands, got back in the car. She said shortly after leaving, she noted the fingers she opened the door that with the car with started to tingle. A symptom which soon began to escalate. After about five minutes, my whole arm just started tingling. Then it started to feel numb. I couldn't breathe. I started getting hot flashes, my chest was hurting, my heart was beating really fast. All right. Immediately, her husband calmed her down, called emergency services, and drove her to the nearest hospital where doctors 
conducted several tests, including urine samples, blood tests, and a CAT scan. Once we got through the emergency room, I explained to them what happened, and immediately they brought me to the back. Took my blood pressure and everything. They say my vitals were not stable, so they immediately put me in a room and gave me some fluids. All right, she goes on to say in the caption, she said, uh, says she had acute poisoning from an unknown substance. Says she didn't have enough in it in her system to determine what it was. The doctor said it could have been a possible kidnapping attempt, and that's true. All right, so evidently they had uh, prior incidents of this happening. All right, says I was there for about six and a half hours. The doctor said I had acute poisoning from an unknown substance. All right, I just read that. So just imagine if I would have grabbed it with my full hand. I probably could have been dead, she said, warning others to be careful and always keep an eye out, which is what we always said. This came down from the apostles earlier. All right, all I could do is think about my babies. It was the scariest moment of my life. She could, she told Fox 26. And this is the thing, you know, she's married, all right, but all the same, these women out here, you know, consumed with what? This life. And this is a. Uh, let's see if I can remember where it was. First Timothy 5 and 6. Yeah. First Timothy 5 and 6. It says, But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. She's all uh, consumed with, you know, well, there's other scriptures where it talks about the fat. And. Fatness, meaning you're consumed with all the affairs of this world. You're not thinking about what you should be thinking about. All right. Uh, she's warning people here in the caption. She has said, all the women in Houston, just everywhere, just be careful when you're out. Oh, now you want to be a, okay, which is often the case. I mean, okay, that's good. Now you're warning everybody. All right, you were lucky, really. All right. Uh, pay attention to your surroundings. Be safe. I never thought this would happen to me or on my side of town. So it can happen everywhere. Yeah, because we're at the time that we're in now. Hey, like the scripture said, uh, the love of many should wax cold. And that's what's happening. You're seeing with the, uh, the elite bankers are shutting this shit down. This is worldwide. And people are feeling the effects. And you're seeing all these demons <laughs> really, uh, you know, coming out now. Uh, so yeah, the rest of this is just uh, this is another person uh, Facebook that gave her account she said she had a strip of paper taped to the rim that goes around my back driver's side wheel pulled it off I can't remember where or when but I had very odd feelings and we call it EMS now I'm trying to put it together and connect it bad thing is I can't remember where I was or when it happened watch out people if you have to move something I guess use a stick or something I'm so glad you're okay oh my god I'm glad you're okay the next one says uh, this napkin thing happened to my 19 year old daughter at work about a month ago in Virginia that's close to me here. It says, someone tied a napkin to her car door. Thankfully, nothing happened to her, but we were all freaking out. And he says here, fortunately, Mem's story is not an isolated incident. See? Renee Parsons. Uh, this happened on Sunday, July 10th, 2022. Just recently. Do not pick up anything off the ground. I would not typically share a personal story like this on Facebook, but I am still in disbelief that it happened to me. Driving through Nashville, Tennessee, we needed to make a quick stop to use the bathroom. We stopped at McDonald's, and while I stand with, with my three-month-old baby and wait for my husband so I could go to the bathroom, I see a dollar bill on the ground. Thinking absolutely nothing of it, I picked it up. Holding it in my hand, I, took, I look around and contemplate giving it to the little girl I saw. Right then, my husband comes out of the bathroom, and I throw the dollar in my pocket, hand him the baby, run to the bathroom, I wash my hands, and I don't drive them all the way. I go out to meet them and start to walk to the car a minute or so later. Meanwhile, I did grab the dollar out of my pocket, held it, and then put it in my car door. As I did that, I told my husband 
how lucky I was to find a random dollar. Then I grabbed a white to wipe off my hands because I remembered him telling me not to pick up money off the ground as people had been putting it in fentanyl. As he began to somewhat lecture me, it hit me like a ton of bricks. All of a sudden, I felt it start in my shoulders and the feeling was quickly going down my body and it would not stop. I said, Justin, please help me. I'm not kidding. I feel really funny. I grabbed his arm, I grabbed his arm not thinking, and then my body went completely numb. I could barely talk and I could barely breathe. I was fighting to stay awake as Justin was screaming at me to stay awake and trying to talk to 911 and find the closest fire station or hospital. I passed out before we arrived at the hospital, but thankfully they worked almost as quickly as my husband did to get me there. It took a few hours and some meds, but I eventually started feeling somewhat normal again. The police officer that came to take our report told us it was one of two things. Either the dollar bill was accidentally dropped and it had been used to cut and or store the drugs, or it was purposely left with drugs on it. Either way, this is absolutely real and sad. The mixture of my wet hands and the alcohol from the wipes mixed with my body's reaction to that drug could, cost, could have cost me my life. Because what? It's called osmosis. Your skin being the biggest organ in your body, it draws things in. And these people know this. All right, It's osmosis. It says, uh, uh, and then she talks about, you know, uh, yeah the moral I don't care if it's a $20 bill or a $100 bill do not touch it hey like I say but you know how many people gonna really especially if you see a hundred come on man but that's not worth your life alright the sad thing is a lot of people don't go ahead and do that Regardless of what their situation is, you should not do it. Hey, hundred dollars ain't worth your life, but you know. But once again, these are the times we're in. People to resort to something like that, it just lets you know they care very little about another person's life. Period. All right. Uh, and then you got to look at the last two years, two and a half years almost, what has been happening. On a higher level, <laughs> what has the government's been doing? Not much different. As, yeah, I had to put that in there because that's the truth. That's what's happening. All right. So all these people dropping dead because of, hey, you know what? I don't want to say it because of the algorithm, but you know what it is. Hey, so with that, yeah, once again, this has been more of a PSA uh, you see money you see anything stuck on your car or in, even in your house uh, when you're walking into where you live stuck in the door don't touch it you know don't touch it hey so with that hey shalom